Hi there, this is the second in a three-part series of videos we've created to support you with each step of the process around submitting your teacher-assessed grades, centre-determined grades, and grades for any applicable Evolve units for Category A qualifications, and we recommend that you watch all three of these videos. I'd like to point you in the direction of the user guide that's available on our COVID-19 page on the website. Just click on the link for system guidance, information and generic forms. And we highly recommend that you use this guide to support you with your submission of grades and evidence. All information within this video and the other videos with additional detail can be found in sections two and three of this guide. Now, just a reminder of the qualifications which are in scope for alternative results submissions. Teacher assessed grades, along with the evidence that has determined that grade, must be submitted for technical qualifications, the extended project qualification and core maths. But depending on the eligibility or whether all options have been explored first, tags teacher assessed grades, along with the evidence which has determined that grade, may be submitted for functional skills which is the legacy 3748, as well as the reformed 4748 qualifications, as well as ESOL, Essential Skills Wales and Northern Ireland, and the category B1 VRQs. So when you're preparing to submit your grades alternative results, please ensure that you've read the requirements for the qualification for which you wish to submit grades and make sure that any eligibility criteria has been met Maybe any necessary bookings have been made and please see our website for specific qualification guides to support you with this. As for walled garden access, the alternative results for tags, the centre determined grades and applicable Evolve units will be submitted using walled garden, but only a primary user or secondary user will have the appropriate permissions to submit those grades. If you don't have those permissions or you don't have access to walled garden, you'll need to request this from your centre's primary account holder or liaise with a relevant person within your centre who has an appropriate account on walled garden to do this for you. Please refer to the specific qualification guides on our website for detailed information on the grade requirements for submission. For example, some components of technical qualifications also require grade intervals to be submitted. So centres can submit alternative results for tags, CDGs and applicable Evolve units using two methods, which are both available in Walled Garden, and whichever option centres use depends on their preference. The first option, which is a bulk upload via CSV file, this allows centres to bulk upload alternative results using a CSV file which can be created either using your own MIS systems or alternatively we've published a simple Excel file which you can download, fill out in your own time without the need to be logged into Walled Garden and you can use this tool to create the CSV files. Now once these are created you can upload this as a document directly to Walled Garden but please access the first video in this series for more information on this process. However, option two, which is results entry via our new alternative results functionality. So if you're more familiar with the functionality of making registrations and bookings in Wall Garden, we've developed a new approach for you to submit these alternative results. And this process is very similar to how you would enter results for VRQ's center assessed components, where you select the qualification, you add the candidates and you enter their results. So if you are to use the Walled Garden alternative results process, first, please log into Walled Garden. And once you're logged in, click on the catalogue, which will take you to a list of your approved qualifications. Then from your list of approved qualifications, select the qualification you want to submit your alternative results for by simply clicking on the blue text of the qualification title. You can also use the search functionality to narrow down the list of qualifications for you. So now that you're viewing the qualification, click on place an order. And you'll then see the option alternative results entry within the list of options across the bottom. Click on that button. And you'll then see the centre and assessment details within the grey section. You'll see your centre number here, as well as the assessment window pre-populated. The candidate cohort options will display further down the screen too. 
So next, you need to select the assessment code you're submitting tags for from the drop down menu. You'll see on screen that I've given a couple of examples. On the left hand side, there are technical qualification components. And on the right hand side, there are the components shown for functional skills maths. We recommend that you enter a reference for your submission in the Your Reference box, and this will be useful for you if you need to return to your submitted grades at a later date. You can then add your candidates to the assessment using the four search options, candidate details, cohort, enrolment number and unique learner number. Candidate details allows you to search by using other candidate details such as the name if you don't already have the candidate enrolment number at hand. Once you've found that candidate, you can proceed with your submission. Cohort allows you to add an existing group of candidates to your order if you've previously created the cohort for the qualification. Enrolment number allows you to add candidates to your order by using an enrolment number that's created at registration. And unique learner number allows you to search for the candidates by using their ULN. So if you're using the candidate detail search function, you need to use the candidate detail search fields, which are displayed to locate and select the candidates one by one, and then ensure the tick box is selected on the left hand side. After that, you just click add to results entry, and you'll need to repeat this step for each individual candidate you want to add. Likewise, you could use the enrolment number search facility using the enrolment number search field to locate and select your candidates one by one and then ensure the tick box is selected on the left and click add to results entry. Again, you'll need to repeat this step for each individual candidate you want to add. And if you have the unique learner numbers of your candidates, use the unique learner number search field to locate and select your candidates one by one, ensuring the tick box is selected on the left. And then again, click add to results entry. And once again, you'll need to repeat this step for each individual candidate you want to add. However, if you've previously set up cohorts within Walled Garden, you can use the cohort search field to add multiple candidates from a saved cohort which has previously been created and select the cohort from the cohort name drop down menu. Select and deselect the candidates who you want to add grades for by ensuring the tick box is selected on the left and then just add to results entry. So once you've added all of your required candidates, whether that's individually or via the cohort selection tool, you'll then need to enter their tags or CDGs under the grade column. But please note that technical qualification synoptic assignment and theory exams also require a grade interval to be entered. But don't worry, it'll only let you select the relevant grades which are available for the assessment and grade intervals can't be entered for assessments where they're not required. If you need to remove the candidates, you may have entered them in error. You can remove them by clicking the remove button. Just a reminder here of the different qualifications and grades that are available. For technical qualifications, you'll need to enter the grade and the corresponding grade interval, which are required for the synoptic assignment and the theory exam components. For the other center assess components for technical qualifications, only the grade will be available and you won't be able to select anything from the grade interval column. So for functional skills, ESOL, essential skills qualifications and the category B1 VRQs, just enter the grade for each candidate. And likewise for the extended project qualification, which has different grades available in the drop down. No grade intervals are needed for any of these qualifications, which is why the drop downs within the grade interval column cannot be selected. When you're confident the grade and grade intervals that you've entered are correct, you need to confirm the submission declaration. Then you're ready to submit the tags for the assessment component and to complete the submission, just click submit. A few important points to make about the grade submissions. Centres can't currently amend or delete the submissions once they've been submitted, whether that's through the alternative results process, as we've shown in this video, or through the bulk upload via CSV file. 
Further development is taking place to enable this functionality after the 18th of June deadline so we can request centres amend results submitted, whether that's due to inaccuracies or because of our external quality assurance by moderators or EQAs. If you miss a candidate out or miss an assessment out, you can correct this by making an additional submission. However, if you make a mistake during the submission process, please don't resubmit as this will cause a duplicate record and that will then cause an error. This will delay the processing period and will delay the release of results. And if you have any issues, you should contact the quality delivery team. You can view the submissions made for alternative results, whether that's tags, centre determined grades and evolve adaptations in Walled Garden, as well as the status of the submission. From the Walled Garden homepage, you just click on the Reports tab at the top and then select the option for Candidate Results. Within the Show Me menu, select Alternative Results Requests. Make sure you select the correct centre number if you have more than one centre number. Enter the qualification number and set the date range you want to search within. Then click on Search and the submissions will display in a table. So to view the details of the submissions, click on the red select square and then the submission details will display in the table below it, including all of the candidate details, the assessment number, the grade, grade intervals and finally the status of the submission itself. So this is the end of the process and I hope it's been helpful for you. Now, obviously, we understand that you might need some help or advice with this process, so please do get in contact with the quality teams who are available to support you. Now, there's a team for functional skills, ESOL and essential skills, Wales and Northern Ireland, and they're available on fs.quality at cityandguilds.com. For support with category B1 VRQs, there's vrq.quality at cityandguilds.com. And for support with technical qualifications and the extended project qualification, get in touch with technicals.quality at cityandguilds.com. We're all available on the same phone line, that's 0300 303 5352. So please do get in touch if you need any help and we're happy to support. Thanks again for listening. Take care and goodbye.